Singapore Grand Prix is a great atmosphere because it's a night race and also there's lots of Australians that come up to watch me race. Singapore, five kilometres through the city centre, 61 laps, counterclockwise, all in all 309 kilometres. Four high speed stretches, seven slow turns, three ideal spots for overtaking, top speed 297 k's now. Okay, here we are in the Red Bull Simulator starting a lap in the night race at the Singapore Grand Prix. Very, very difficult Grand Prix for all the drivers as it's a very busy street circuit in terms of concentration. Very, very bumpy. Especially in this part of the track. We arrive at turn five here. Very difficult to find your turning point as it's quite wide, but also very, very bumpy. Important to get a good exit. We head under a few overpasses, through a couple of little kinks, incredibly bumpy here, hard on the brakes, second gear left hander, a short little acceleration, and then we're into part of the track where there's a lot of concrete around. You can see a lot of the spectators on your left hand side here, huge grandstand, always filled, filled up very, very well here at the Singapore Grand Prix, braking for a very, very tight chicane. Coming towards the bridge now, which is also very tricky to thread the car through this section of the track. A tight hairpin, which is very important to get a good exit out of here. The circuit's always very well lit up, so the drivers have no problems in seeing all the corners. Braking hard for that second gear right-hander. And then we now come to the last sector of the track, which is just absolutely full of chicanes. Underneath the grandstand here, incredibly bumpy. Very, very easy to tag a wall here because of the bumps and the car getting upset over those type of crests. Accelerating hard towards the last corner now. Quite a quick last corner and very, very easy to have a little moment there, but that's crossing the line at the Singapore Grand Prix.